starting today in Calm, Missouri, and it is certainly that. Not a very populated part of Missouri down here on near the, the state border with Arkansas. And, um, and driving around, there's not much to see. Um, the only thing I could find online uh, was, was possibly this building was a liquor store of some sort that operated into the you know, maybe even to the 1970s or 1980s. I'm not sure if this is it, but I saw there was a business here. Um, <clears throat> other than that, there's not much to find. There is a church called the Liberty Free Will Baptist Church and a cemetery. And, um, and there's a couple things called Liberty. I see Liberty on them with buildings, uh, but, but then I saw something that said Calm as well. So I'm assuming this is Calm, maybe the Liberty, the church, had a little bit of name recognition as well in some of the places. So um, there's not much to see. It's just a very relaxing area, uh, very calm way to start our video. Burfordville uh, is a very cool place to see. As you can see, it's cool as well because the, the breath <laughs> coming out. Um, it's a chilly morning, but there's a lot of history in this town. So I'm in this covered bridge, which obviously is a, a cool uh, historical uh, thing that you don't see very often. And so it's one of the um, more interesting things, but, but the mill right next to it is really what you know, his name is, is known for. Actually, this was originally, uh, this area is known as Bollinger Mill before Burfordville, when uh, the kind of the turn of the 20th century when they incorporated the town. Um, <clears throat> but the history of this area goes way back to the late 1700s when an explorer found this when it was still under Spanish control. And um, then he went back east brought some more immigrants with him from, I think, Germ Germany and uh, maybe Italy. And, and so they, they ventured west. They got to the Mississippi River. They had to wait for the river to freeze over and uh, before they could cross it. And then once they crossed it, they pretty much settled here in what is now Burfordville. Um, the mill and the bridge, I think, have gone through a couple different iterations of, of you know, construction and, and, you know, but it's, but they're both very old and they're both from the 1800s and it's now a historical site. So if you're ever in the Southeast Missouri area, it's definitely a place to, to check out. Old Appleton, uh, Missouri has a lot of history and um, it's gone through different name changes and a lot of different people lived here. So 
back in the you know late 1700s there were different uh, Native American tribes and uh, they were some living here peacefully some fighting with each other and then settlers moved in and then they were fighting so it was kind of different groups battling over the land um, over time uh, this became a settlement and and it was originally called Apple Creek because right here kind of noisy I know but uh, right here this is Apple Creek and so they named the town Apple Creek uh, and then later on it became Appleton and then there was another city in Missouri called Appleton City so to to avoid confusion with that city they changed it to Old Appleton in the 1900s this bridge uh, was built in 1879 they've they've Restored it, obviously, uh, but this bridge helped people get, you know, across the river. You can imagine at those times it was, you had to go across the river or, or even a creek, but uh, it was very difficult. So building a bridge like this was very important to the community. Um, the, this is the main road basically through town. Now it's just a pedestrian bridge. Uh, it's just off of Route 61, which is the newer, nicer road, but the main street through town um, goes right to this bridge and then on on up to the north. Old Appleton today is kind of a mixture of new homes and kind of you know a busy area in some respects and then a lot of uh, older places you can tell are, are from a, a long time ago and so uh, it's a very cool place to visit and very beautiful part of Missouri. There's, there is a there is a church called the Liberty Free Will. It's chilly this morning. <laughs>